All right. Day five. Day five. Day five. And already it started off better than day four. Hey, look, we're not under <clears throat> attack. Yes, and we have a plan. Yes. First things first. File cabinets. Oh, Done. Of course. Task complete. We can end the we can end the recording right now. Uh, uh, check that off. Check filing cabinets off right. the list. Things to do. All right. It's already it's already 6:52. So let's go. I'm gonna get to work. We have a lot to do. Yeah. Look at all of that stamina we got. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Well. Yeah. What's this? Task. Okay. I'm going to do the. Um, you know. What do we do? <laughs> oh yeah, all those things. God damn. What's it called? The medicine stuff. Yeah, we need we need to really get our health and stamina back. So I think antibiotics really really high on the list of things that needs to get done now. That's the word I'm looking for. Antibiotics. If you have a beaker, I need a beaker. I don't. I do not have one in my inventory. I thought we had one. That's good. Appears to have been mistaken. I left one somewhere in the world. Hmm. Uh, there it is. Let's see, okay, I got an axe. We have no shovel. Okay, so let's go over the plan for the viewers at home. I'm gonna make, um,. Antibiotics, I'm going to get those going. Also, I need to make ammunition for our new weapons. And I need to do some hunting today so we can get some uh, leather. And I am going to work on our defenses because we need some. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm going to find a beaker. God damn it. Okay, so I'm going to go loot these buildings that we established uh, at the end of the last uh, yeah. day that we hadn't actually uh, looted. Let's we'll start with the information center. It's a personal favorite of mine. Nice. Okay, so so we don't actually have a beaker. Then. I didn't see one in there, no. Unless I just overlooked it completely three times. Um, no, I'm going to say we don't have one. Uh, okay. That's kind of a hint to you to have a look yourself, because I might that, have actually... I, well, okay. yeah, right. <laughs> I uh, may have actually overlooked it four times. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looking for a beaker while I put stuff away. Wow, my health is so... My little health bar is so tiny. We are in really not good shape. I'll take those. Are you running around outside? I am not outside. Oh boy. Uh, you, hear, you have some friends? Something. Yeah, something's running around. Something is afoot? I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm in the sa I'm looking Maybe in the safe. A <laughs> Aren't you so clever? I am, aren't I? Alright, here we go. Oh, I already know that one. Throw that on the floor. Oh my goodness, so... You you want to make us leather armor, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do that. We have a little bit of leather, but we don't have that much leather. I just found another pistol here. Good. Just gotta figure out what I don't want to carry around anymore. Um, am I wearing armor? Yep. Okay, so. So now we can each have a pistol. Yay! Well, we're already better armed than we were. Oh yeah. Okay, Which I is not, it's not saying a lot, right? No, it's not. It's not really saying much. <laughs> anything, really. Shovle. There we go. You don't need a barb club for anything. Uh, no. Although I guess we could make spiked clubs. It's, they're just gonna really suck. I have a spike club. Oh yeah, that's right. I just, I mean, I'm finding all these little 
melee weapons, but I don't want to. I don't really want to pick up a whole bunch of junk that we don't really need. Yeah, well, if it's if it's not good quality, then we don't really need it. Like, if we find more iron clubs. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, I mean, they do burn, but so do couches. Yeah, and so it's really not worth picking up. Right. Okay. I should have emptied my inventory a little bit. Well, good thing you're not too far from the hizzy. True, true, true. So, I guess we kind of realized after the day four massacre that we are very poorly outfitted and day seven is rapidly approaching. Is that kind of an accurate uh, <laughs> summation of our yeah. current situation? We, yeah. we really really put ourselves behind yeah um, that sucked we really put ourselves behind on day four <laughs> now here's a question what would, where's your interest um, in a SMG what interest level are you feeling toward having one of those uh, the gun yes uh, none really okay Okay, I'm I'm gonna keep it then. Instead of a shotgun, I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna, I oh, did you find one? Yeah, I got one. Oh, an entire one? It's fully assembled, but it's got zero durability and it needs to be repaired. But... Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah, pretty good find. That's gonna if, be useful. If we'd have found it a few days ago. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the past. I will also, you know, remember to. Uh, Make sure that you qualify your questions before, or qualify my answers before you. Never mind. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you should probably think of a statement before saying anything. Uh, I was, but you know, English are hard to to do good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I already know that too. Why I keep missing with this thing? There we I go. feel like we've kind of. I guess we've learned everything. I mean, I could I could do with some leather work. Oh, zombie. I'm a knifer. Ah, so what, uh, what would be your interest in having an auger? Hi. Oh, just ask him. <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> kind of thinking, it's informal poll day. I would see if I could ask a question, uh, without having, you know, an a, uh, agenda behind it. You little bitch. Come here. <laughs> Crotch shot. Wow. She's got a tough snatch. I got it. <laughs> Wait, are you already using your SMG? No, it's it won't fire. Uh, that was my pistol. Son of a Yeah, man, I'm, I'm I'm level 12, by the way. Just off of these things. Did you clear out the shooting range uh, room? No. Do you need hay? Uh, just leave the hay. We know where the hay is. Okay, but if you needed it closer, I could bring it closer to you. Uh, right no, now. leave the hay. We don't, I do not need the hay. Oh, I know what I need. Do we have any coffee at all anywhere in this building? I believe I have been completely uh, ignoring coffee so far. So. Ah, damn I don't it. know. Damn it. I don't know. I would check the fridge. There's a drink, um, like a drink container. That's what I would. Yeah, we we have none. What do you need it for? Uh, to make coffee. Because <laughs> yes. I'm gonna do a lot of digging and. I have beer if you want that. Uh, oh, we got beer in the fridge. I'll take a beer. I forgot. Beer works the same kind of the same way. Yeah. Come here, beer. Is yellow worse than orange? Uh, Poor? I think yellow is nothing, good. actually. Yellow is good. Okay. I had a cylinder. Where did I... Okay. We don't need a magnum, really. Yellow. All right. Pistol parts. There we go. And drink. Drink the beer. I didn't mean to drink Pistol. two beers, but I drank two beers. How many beers have you had tonight? Two. How many did you mean to drink? Um, more than that. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so I've looted this information center. What did we need? Oh, a beaker. I swear we had a beaker somewhere in this place before. Hey, look, a zombie. Look at there. You got nice buzz. Flawless axe to the head. I'm level 12 now, bitch. I'm stunned. What you flaunting your level? There you go. Yeah. Well, I just, you know, it's fair. Only fair that you let these people know what they're getting into. There we go. Oh, jeez. Digging a trench. Oh, you've already started, huh? Well. Look at you go getting it. Had to do it. God. It was what was on the agenda. That's right. We got a plan and we're sticking to it. Okay, so some of this has been searched. That was weird. How did you search the desk, but nothing else in this room? You do remember the sun was going down. Yeah, but the door was boarded up. I don't get it. You do remember the sun was going down. So you reboarded the door after leaving? Wait, the door was boarded? No, I must have got in a that's different way. That's what I'm way. saying, man. I got in a different <laughs> way, I guess. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, I guess that's what you do. You stack furniture next to windows and stuff. Maybe just the top one was boarded. I don't what, know. Okay, okay, yeah, I was going to say, wait, didn't I? I probably just went in the bottom half. Yeah, I so think that's probably what it is. Even though part of it was open, you went ahead and knocked down the other one either way. Anyway. Yeah, well, okay. you know, okay. right. I, like, I like a clear path. Sure. Okay, sure. I don't squat. Yeah. Were you, like, trying to squat this morning? Squat? When the day started? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just how I logged in. Ah, son of a gun. Lost track. Alright, this whole antibiotics thing is probably not going to pan out today. So I'm going to have to move on to the next phase of my plan. <laughs> Waste of that Which shovel. Ammunition. Damn it. Faulty shovel. Hey, what level I am I anyway? Mm. I have no idea what level I am. Ah, ten. Hmm. That sucks. Digging a hole. World needs ditch diggers too. Yeah, this one, the beginning of this video is far less action packed than, uh, yeah. than the last one. Oh, yeah. I'd... Wow, I can jump high. What was that? That was me. No, I was, something. I was jump. Something just fell. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's what I said. I was jumping around on the, the oh, other side of the wall. I didn't know you were back here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what the hell? So, we're just going to kind of, what, stand up here and shoot at things? Stand up where? Up on the spit where I'm jumping. Hey, hey, get that deer. Get that what? There's a deer behind you. I uh, have no bolts. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll get it. Actually, I don't think I have any bolts either. Oh, no bolts. Check this out, though. Like, get me some deer. I believe hunting was also on your list of things to do. Yeah. So you're trying to also get me to do your work for you. No, I just it was an opportunistic thing. You were using that oppor you just shot the fuck out of that deer, didn't you? That's all I have. <laughs> we 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 need the leather. And I haven't I've seen like two zombies since we started today. Oh, son of a bitch. So that's encouraging. I feel like maybe we're getting uh, a reprieve today. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think we killed them all. Although I have been reading their, uh, the hordes that have spawned are actually not spawning correctly. And the amount of zombies that are supposed to normally spawn uh, is not really working like it should. No, it's just all around wonky, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. 
Okay. Uh, I oh. would not. I would not know by what what happened on day four. <laughs> but, uh, we shall see. Well, yeah. I mean, I you know the the randomness. I guess is kind of fun. It's kind of. Because, yeah. I mean, if, if it was a real zombie apocalypse, I assume the zombies wouldn't be on a spawn schedule, you know? Oh, yeah, they, they, they'd just kind of be there, like waves. Yeah, exactly. It'd be random, just like what we're experiencing here. And I'm cool with that. We have a lot of venison, by the way. Good. Alright, there we are. That's, that's a, that's a fine-looking ditch. That I'm not even close to being done with. Okay, where in the world? Oh, God. I, okay, now I'm remembering just kind of throwing stuff in crates. Oh. Oh. Right. Went to a new place for pizza today. Yeah, how'd that go? In two minutes or less, go. Say that again? <laughs> Tell me about it, in two minutes or less. Uh, it was good. The end. <laughs> Holy crap. But okay. I'm, I'm burping it up now. Everywhere. <laughs> oh. That uh, that's a that's a good question. So, how much do you generally tip? Uh, well, it's a sliding scale based on how well the server does. Um, but no less than twenty percent. That's baseline. Does that make sense? Like if, yeah, if so I uh, if I get like just regular service, nothing special, no, you know. I'm, it's just kind of a blah kind of experience, 20%. Uh -huh. um, and then uh, from there, I've gone as high as, you know, 40, 50. Breakfast, I tip a higher percentage, you know, because um, typically breakfast food costs less, you know. But, yeah, it's usually, it's, I would say, between 25 and 30% on, on average for very good service. All right, so 25 to 30%. Yeah. That's how, that's... Well, you started out with twenty, so say twenty to thirty percent. That is what. Your okay. Yeah. Range that's my range. Right. Sure. Not not below twenty. Okay. Um, have you ever tipped more or less than you know that you should have? I've tipped more. Sure. You tip more than you know that you should have. Yeah. Why? Just, I mean. If a server's overly, you know, if, uh, you know, you got like ten tables or something, ten big tables, and they're doing what they can or whatever, um, and giving us good service, but also kind of having to deal with maybe other employees that aren't really pulling their weight or something, you know, where something happened, uh, someone quit a minute ago or something, you know, what I'm saying something like that. No, um, uh, I'm, I'm getting you to try to say it. Just for, for exceptional. Uh, uh, circumstances, ex exigent kind of thing. <laughs> why? Why do you ask? Uh, well, I'm, I'm just, I was just curious. Uh, you're, you're saying that I, I, the question was, have you ever tipped more than you know that you should have? And you, you were kind of justifying why you were tipping more. Okay, then. So, so, uh, you know. Okay. Yes, I have, and I'll tell you, I can think of an example, is when I went to work, I was at work one time, and a group of us went to eat, and we all just kind of threw in money, and it ended up being, you know, probably, <laughs> it was damn near double, like a, like a it's like in the 80% range, but it's just because we all had you know, a couple bucks or, or whatever, like fives. I think we all had fives or something like that, or we all had something. And we just kind of, instead of asking for change as a table, you know, it was like a $15 tip on a $20 meal or something like that, you know. And we all just kind of shrugged and was like, well, that's fine, you know, and we we'll, we'll walked out. I mean, something like that, that's more in line with what you're asking. Because y'all had pulled money and it, and it was more 
bought worth more more work than it was worth to give people money back to uh, take away from the tip. Yeah, I guess that's one way of okay. putting it. That's yeah, okay. Uh, my tab for my dinner was like twenty six dollars. Okay. And I was sitting in uh, the bar area of where I was eating the pizza, and I opened up my wallet, and I only had I had two twenties, and I had two ones. So I just dropped the two twenties, and I didn't feel like waiting on the waitress, so I just left. Oh yeah, similar with, situation. Yeah, with forty bucks, because uh, I over tipped because I was lazy. <laughs> I tip everybody. Actually, it's not tipping I believe in. It's over tipping. <laughs> it's like I uh, I don't really feel like waiting, you know. So I'll I'll just go ahead and she'll get a really good tip and uh, I'll I'll leave. Yeah, no, I can I can I can definitely um, can't fault you for that. And in fact, I think we both kind of describe very similar uh, circumstances. Uh, and I had a one is one situation. My mother is a hor horrible tipper. Um, oh, I'm glad you finished that. I thought you said your mother's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, dude. She 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 could be. I I don't know. <laughs> don't really talk about that with her. But we she's got this thing. You know, she's stuck in like 1975 or something where everyone gets two dollars. You know, no matter uh, yes. no matter what. She got that straight from her father because he used to do it too. Uh, so my wife and I have to kind of go behind her and fix the tip. You know. Uh, every time we go eat with them, it's, it's. I like that you and your wife fix the tip. I think that's funny. Yeah. Well, she used. To, my wife used to be a waitress, so she understands, you know, what it's like. And we have a kind of a soft spot for, you know, for what they do. Plus, what do I need here? I need. I believe the. I believe the two dollars to every bill tip is uh, also known as the high school tipper. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we had lead, Why well, not? Am I not? That used to be my theory on tipping for a, for a long time uh, before I, you know I had a real job. It was uh, two dollars, two dollars a bill. That's <laughs> that's the tip. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what the hell is going on here? Where's all the lead? If I don't have lead, I can't make these bullets. I don't know that we've done no, we have any it. mining for lead. I have a ton of like. Um, I know we have some lead weights and stuff. Yeah, here and there. Oh, gross! I don't need my axe right now. There we go. Okay, God, this. I'm having a hard time thinking right now. I'm gonna go hunt. I'm gonna hunt, clear my head. You hit your head? Oh no, to clear my head. God dang it. So you're gonna wipe your ass? Oops. What are you working on out there? Making a ditch. I'm gonna go hunt. Alright. Because I'm, I'm not having. I don't have what I need. Digging a ditch. Yeah, I, I, all, I have is, all I have is a shovel and a dirt. That's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna need to cut down some trees, but oh man, not having any stamina is just a pain in the ass. Everything's mixed up. We're gonna have to take some time and fix this. This is really not. It's like half. I, have a, I hear. I hear the flurry of opening and closing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. <laughs> Like, I keep changing my mind about what I'm looking for, and uh, I'm not finding any of it anyway, so it's kind of frustrating. But I do have an MP or a, a yellow SMG, so I'll stick that in my. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a miss. There's just miscellaneous crap in this uh, in this newest storage bin here. Do I have any 10 millimeter? Okay, here we go. I need to eat. Make sure you watch your food. What are you cooking over here? Nothing. Okay. I'm gonna cook some venison. All right. Sounds good. Hey Rex. Yeah. 
What? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nothing. Do we have a cooking grill thing? Uh, I do not believe so. All right, I'll, I can make one. I'll make one real quick. I know I saw a bunch of metal stuff. I have some right here on me. I can make it right now. Okay. Fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna eat this. I'm just gonna eat this sham. The hell with it. I'm going hunting. If you could think, if you remember at some point to make that, that'd be awesome. I'm, I'm doing it right now. Alright, cool. I'm standing hey, right here. Check it out. Look what I have. Hey, that's a gun. Look, look, I'm a SWAT guy. Prepare to press E, Clear. SWAT guy. Oh. Press E. Got it, I'm off. Alright. I don't think I'll hunt with this thing, but... Yeah, don't, don't hunt with it. Uh, use it after you hunt. What, as like a showpiece? Just so I look cool? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can show the meat on the grill. Wow. I hope I made the right thing here. Now that we have crossbow bolts and okay, yeah, and arrows. Don't they use the same stuff? They just uh, you gotta click the the other one. Uh, yes, they use use the same thing, but they I don't know if I don't think you can use arrows in a crossbow. Uh, crossbow. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I kind of like that. So you want to talk about my, uh, the zombie arena idea? Share it with our viewers? Uh, yeah, fair, yeah. Yeah, so Go ahead. I made an arena in a creative world and stocked it with uh, weapons and armors and things. Damn it. And the idea is we're going to, and there's ten uh, fire, uh, campfires, and then we're going to, we're going to get in there together, switch it over to survival and then light all 10 campfires and then just see how long we can last and I'm kinda mostly because I'm kinda curious to see with a constant onslaught uh, just how quick we can level up you know and uh, it's be kinda fun might get a little hectic and hairy turn it up turn up the spawn rates a little bit it could be fun or it could be a complete you know their disaster which would be fun too ba so basically you wanna just you know Here's a couple armed guys and a whole lot of zombies coming at them. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's it. It's like uh. Okay. Like gladiator so, games. So here's a question. God. What's that? If uh. There's an arena. How are the zombies gonna get in it? Oh, it's just wide open. There's like pillars all the way around it, but oh, okay. there's big so gaps. It's more like it's like a pavilion. <laughs> yeah. It's a zombie pavilion. Zombie the killing battle pavilion. pavilion. Battle pavilion. There you go. I hear a plane. It sounds far away. I barely hear it. Yeah. It sounds very far away. Oh, with all these headphones on, I can't. <laughs> I can't really tell. You know what? I. You know what? I like that. The car is a bridge. I like that. Okay. Good. We'll go with that then. Car is a bridge. I had a thought today. I was gonna share it with you. Finally. Um, I was kind of thinking, like, you know. It's on. Oh, shh. Be very, very quiet. Hang on. Let me kill this deer, and then I'll share my thought. The the suspense. It's overwhelming. Now I got him. So I was thinking about it, and most men like women. Okay. And I uh, realized. I'll get on. I'll get on board. Okay. With that. So far, so good. Right. And most men also kind of like cars. And I realize there's a parallel, at least with me, in the way I think of the two. And so far as, for instance, okay, I thought of an example like, say you're at a car wash, okay, because you have a car. Uh, and there's t you want to see it with its top down covered in water? I don't get ahead of you. Don't get ahead of me. Okay, we'll get there. Uh, <laughs> But say it's you and nine other guys, and you're all at the car wash washing your respective cars, and and we're all thinking how badly we want inside that car. 
Oh my gosh. And so, <laughs> and everyone's kind of mind their own business, and then something badass, like a, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that car, car, if you think about it, cars are sluts, because, you know, if you can fit nine guys in them at one time. Okay, not exactly where I was going. Yeah. <laughs> But like, okay, so say you're all you're there and you're watching your car or whatever, and there's nine other guys. Everyone's watching their cars, and something pulls up like a I don't know what's a badass car, uh, like a I don't know McLaren or something, right? Um, and it just rolls up in there. Every guy is gonna stop what he's doing and just have a look at that car, right? It's just in our nature to go, oh wow, that's badass, and. It's not that they necessarily want to drive the car, but they can appreciate what it is. Even though everyone there has a car already, they're still going to look at it, right? Okay. Yeah. So I was looking at a lot of cars today. That's what got me thinking about it. And by cars, I mean women. Thinking, you know, I'm not a shithead like for looking at these people. Okay, so you were looking at a lot of women today. Whoa, oh, hey, hold on. Yeah, it's, it's kind of what you just said. No, wait. I got a zombie issue. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to change the subject. <laughs> uh-uh. No. Does that make sense, what hi, I'm saying? Hi, Mrs. Rex... Rex hi, Mrs. Rexcon, who just walked in the room. No, uh, she's not here. <laughs> uh, okay. But see, that's the thing. That's my, that's my point. It's like, people sometimes feel like shits for checking out a woman or they hide it from their wife or whatever. But it's in the same sense that you check out a car. That you just appreciate because of what it is. You know, I don't want to jump in that Ferrari and drive it around. I'm sure, I'm sure our couple of viewers who we probably have are going immediately to go tell their feminist friends how you just objectified Ooh. women. I did. By comparing I know I did. I'm not. I'm not denying that I did that. But and, and it's not to objectify them. It's just to say, insofar as way, how the male mind works, you know, it's there's a parallel between. So now you're saying all men automatically objectify women? Nope. Well, in a sense, don't we? Uh, no. No, you don't ever. I, I mean, you can only speak for yourself. I, I can speak to some of the comments you've made that are recorded on our friggin' YouTube videos about uh -huh. twin cheerleaders or uh, nurses shit, or things like that, right? Oh, don't get me wrong. So you're not just because I'm I'm I would much I would very much enjoy having sex with multiple persons at once. Does not mean I feel that they are objects. Of course not. Exactly. How? Well, explain the difference there. What I <laughs> because I because I would like to have sex with two automatically I'm, beautiful I'm women. Find people because I like to have sex with multiple people. Two beautiful women who you have no emotional c connection to or any knowledge of. Um, is it are, okay? Are you objectifying women now or nurses? <laughs> I, I think you're stretching. The, I think you're making a stretch there. I'm stretching the same way you just stretched, aren't I? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh huh. You're you were saying it is the nature of men, since we we like cars and women, and they're like the same thing. That we should be able to look at them and that be just totally fine. Uh, I was saying I would like yeah. to have sex with multiple women at one time. <laughs> that, that has nothing to do with saying uh, this. these women are, I'm going to say, I, these women are objects. They should be at my house for only this reason. I'm not, no, no, I'm not saying that either. No. In fact, if you hear me out and quit interrupting me, <laughs> you would uncover, you would see the innocence oh, of what sure. I'm saying. Continue. Yes. Yeah, so. Please continue to explain your point. Thank wow, you. Wow, I keep finding halves of houses. 